and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Golgari or a slightly splash green in our mono black deck. And the main reason why is because Galissa and Mosswood Dread Knight are so strong of cards that I feel that it's almost worth it. But outside of them, like it's a little bit deceiving because you're like, well, these are only green. I played a Cease's main board hate card for like the graveyard decks. But if you're not playing against those, just feel free to throw in like almost any other thing you can play a third hostile third caravac third liliana third glissa doesn't really matter i kind of just played this as a draw effect and it also counts as a black spell so caravac can like cast it and whatnot and i also played a spicy ash yawk that we won't see today which is very sad but the other reason to play green is for these restless cottages and these kind of surveil lands if we want to when we're playing caravac Getting to use Caravac with Surveil Lands is super nice. Oh my god, I've already moved everything off the board. Please come back. Okay, but Cottages almost is worth it because it gives us an extra creature that's just hard to remove. It's a 4-4, gains some life. It can block at times, even though it's kind of an expensive blocker to pay for. But against like control decks and stuff, it's nice to have that in the pocket so we can bring it up and attack. But we also have Underground Mason, uh, Mortuary to have with Caravac. So if we find like a duress on top that we don't necessarily want right now, we can put it away and then use Caravac's ability. If we go for a third of creature and then on their upkeep, duress them with Caravac's ability. So that's kind of another reason we are kind of loading in on these kind of green lands with our green cards and our mono black deck. So outside of that, the shell's pretty typical. I think we're good to go. Uh, this rotation safe, of course. I had to cut a couple cards that I was playing in the past because I wanted to play them. But we're rotation safe now, including the lance. And let's just go out there and game. If you all enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Let's just go. Oh, are some people? Oh, boy. Yeah. I mean, and we latch onto this hand. We surveil turn one. Blooming Marsh, hold up removal if we need to. Play the Moss Wood if we need to. Ask our opponent to politely concede if we need to. A lot of things we can do. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to take the Cavern just to ensure I hit another land here. But I have a lot of kind of action going on. Ooh. Bronco. In the nicest way. I ain't fitting to have all this happen, brother. I think it's getting cut down full shout. What's up? What do we got? Golgari Mir. Game one. I never see Golgari. Normally, right now, it's kind of just worse, potentially, than just mono black. Go ahead and pop this. We'll just untap. We'll pop the Gix and we'll try to wither away the creatures and then force them to kind of have to answer ours. Another tap lane is perfectly fine. We don't really have to worry about our go for the throat being bad. Alright. We'll do this. They're not going to have a protection spell because, again, it's Golgari. Probably playing pretty much the exact same list. Because Golgari doesn't change too much, is more or less what I mean by that. Uh, hey, plus, I have, I have lands to spare here. Especially considering my plan is to... Well, that kind of sucks. Let's name Phyrexian here. Play Mosswood. Mosswood. Just double down. Now they'll have to minus, which will keep both our cards in the hand intact. And then if they remove one, then we can just double cycle and then replay them. Because then Liliana kind of can't keep up with that. Don't really have a way to just answer Liliana. I mean, I guess I could if they minus and then kill a creature. Then I find a land I can cottage. So maybe Shieldred was supposed to go because they were at 20. And realistically, Shieldred's not going to do a ton in that spot. Maybe a little bit of a mistake by me. It's just kind of hard to turn away the Shieldred that I can play. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay. So, they didn't leave. They did use timeout. So, they were deep in the tank on this turn. We'll sacrifice some Mosswood, of course. We're going to the zone. Currently in the graveyard, but we can always cycle it here. This keeps Liliana from ulting, by the way, which is what's so important. 
Tranquil Frillback. Exile my graveyard. I assume that's what I'm getting here. Yeah? So that Mosswood's gone. To get rid of one, Mosswood is kind of the mirror breaker overall. They so play a land. Maybe not. It gets a little bit weird whenever you have this Liliana in play, but shoot the sheriff a perfect draw here. Now we can get this out of the way. We're pretty sure they have a land in hand. And I answer the Lily with Mosswood in play. I have two mana. Fine. And they're not going to be able to like play another Lily, make me sack it, and then be able to frill back again. Frill back is a difference in our list currently. They cycle the draw. Sure. Now they'll play one. There's the land we knew about. Graveyard Trespasser. Card that we are actively not playing, which is an important, important note here. Is they'll be playing a card that gives them access. Surveil land here. Let's take a look. Another land is not needed now. Let's go to combat here. See if they want to block. The shield rig gets a lot more threatening if I get to play it post this combat here. If they allow this three to hit. If not, we'll probably be looking to just cycle the mosswood and replay it. If they block here so they don't get a way to exile it. Especially if there's another trespasser in hand, so they often not do that. Now Shieldred's coming down. I named Phyrexian on my cavern a while ago, so they probably knew I had a Shieldred. But maybe not. No, shoot sheriff or go for the threat in hand currently. Well, at least the one card wasn't. The one they drew might be. The Shieldred trigger is already on the stack, so not a whole lot they can do about it. You have two different Blooming Marshes. Is that why it's freaking me out? That makes sense. I forgot that you can't like if you have two of this one and two of this one it won't let you play with four of either you have to like so they probably just have two and two or something where they played pioneer at one point so there's the mosswood children in play they use the duress kind of why duress sucks just being honest now we can make liliana pretty much useless here surveil see what we find shoot the sheriff probably okay then if they double block my shielded i think i'm fine with that to be honest keeping up the pressure and again if they double block shielded i take out both their creatures they have to cycle the moss wood and it does do damage fine ish might be the way they crawl back into the game. I'm unsure, but Aklazot's in the air. Shoot the Sheriff on on tap here. Plus a Restless Cottage that I can bring up an attack. Could argue maybe Shieldred was a bit aggressive. Wouldn't be opposed to accepting that ideology for sure. They cycle. They draw. Down to eight. Close to lethal. What is the play now at three mana? Four mana. Breacher, sure. Could have a cut down. Combat. We'll attack first. Get the Aquazots to trigger. They'll cut down my Mosswood. That is fine with me then we get to go for the throw because they have no card in hand so I, I might as well just wait I should cycle my mosswood first see what I draw another land okay here I'm gonna just hold the land for like a uh, Liliana value Creature can't really afford to attack. Here comes Mosswood number one. Trample being too relevant. Oh, they just concede. Okay. Maybe the cottage is too much. They don't think they can beat the cottage, but interesting. Uh, match one, the mirror, and we take it down. Very cool. All right, we go first here. Interesting enough. Pretty cool hand. I think I'm going to go ahead and duress right away. Green's Boros. The... These right here, that says Boros right there. 
schon. Das heißt, ja. The traditional Boris sleeves. Every Boris player says, I love these ones. Oh, here. The second dress. We don't know what this is. It could be. They obviously could rip another Gleeful Demolition, you know? The Thought Seize bug. But we're going to play Mosswood to have it kind of chump here. Hopefully, we can get this Glissa down next turn. And then, if not, we at least have Cut Down. We might barrel the second dress. Hope it hits. Well, it might not, but. Always gotta take the chance, you know? They could draw a case. They could wait and establish this card. A lot of things that could happen here. But going case, I guess, now doesn't do anything without the extra creatures. So, realistically, it's gonna be pass turn and do this. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Passing. It's almost, it's almost like we writ, wrote it up, chant. I want to see if they actually block here. Actually, I guess I should hold because realistically they can imidane me. Let's just play Glissa and hold the hold the field here. And now they can flash that in, then they can case me. I guess maybe I could have the rest and cut down. Almost kind of a uh, maybe a better play, especially if they have the case, then it feels really bad. I played my Glissa, but I don't think I can wait forever. I just kind of have to hope they don't have it. But I had to draw on it. Land. Because now Glissa kind of shuts Imidane's off entirely because of the first strike of Death Touch. Would have thought. The keywords first strike and Death Touch are pretty good together. Couldn't be me. Yep, they drew the case. That is tough. Will they attack the turn on the case? I probably would. Yeah. Block. Block actual creatures here because they've been, they've started to play the fairy that picks up a creature, which is interesting to me. All right. I mean, I'm down to draw another land here. That's for sure. Let's take a look. See if we can't hit anything. I mean, I highly doubt it, but I have to try. Yeah, man, it, it's a card I drew, dog. I can't do anything about it. I have nothing else to do. Okay, buddy. Well, I hold my 3-2 back because it can block. I can always cycle it next turn. Kind of depend what they're doing. Two recruiters. I mean, that's a nice draw. Kind of whatever right now. I hope they kind of go for it now. Okay, dude, this is plus one, oh, right? So with the trigger on the stack, we'll remove this. And then now we'll be able to pick off one of these other things. A land draw is perfect. Because then we get to put Aklazots in on an empty board. But like we said before, we gotta watch for the pixie that they play. So I'm gonna take the Epicure, because the Epicure does ping us. So we can take a little bit of extra damage off the board, potentially. In fact, not exactly what I'm looking for. There it is. We have double black, so it's fine. Play here. These are two twos. I guess I just name Erexian, I suppose. I could be mana efficient and play this one. I think I just play Mosswood again. Hopefully a dead draw here. But Knowing Boros is going to be Gleeful Demolition, play Imidanes, and then kill me. Or at least, like, a valuable creature. Kind of depends. Even though land's not necessarily a dead draw, because then they just use the second mode of this. And set up for a lot more, and then we have to really rely on Aklazots. Or play that guy. That guy's also good. Will they put pressure on? Unsure. Honestly, I think we're actually happier that they do, even though I'm going to lose this Mosswood. But that's less pump from this and less pump from this, which might actually give us a chance. Well, no, because Aklazot's going to die. That's tough, and Landral not the greatest. Play Aklazot's. Man, that case was tough. Yep. 
the worst part is this gets buffed here so it gets bigger and then these get put to four whether they're thinking about that or not i have no idea I have too many bad cards tough time i think this is what i have to take out if given the option I'm like dead anyway right if they just play the emidanes yeah, they just have to play Emma Dance and I die anyway. Because this four puts me at 12 and they have four damage across the board. If they just play Emma Dance and attack, I lose. Uh huh. Yep, look at them go. They figured it out, chat. It looks like it's not lethal, but it is because the Evangelius will trigger and they'll have 12 right here. They didn't attack me. Am I faded? I'm going to count. So this put a one, one on everything, right? Here's you control get one up. So I'm blocking here or here depends, but I'm probably blocking here because five. This was three. This was three. They attack. This puts a. This gives everything else a one zero. And this was already at four, so this would have been four four. I block here. I gain four. I go to twelve, and that's twelve. Uh huh. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay. Interesting. Can I? Can I even attack with Aklazots? I think so, right? Because I can just kill the Evangelius. And like automatically gaining the life because I lose if they just case Aklazots, but if I gain the life, I might get value. It's the weird trick of the world, you know? If they discard something important, I make a bat here, like where we get another blocker. They don't have trample. You had the case, chat. Now I look like a genius. <laughs> I mean, not really, but like, you, you know, I feel like we had to. We don't have we don't have cards ready. Airvac can block. You know that they might start cycling away. Uh yes. Uh huh. We're winning this game, Chad. That's why you don't concede sometimes. I I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. See, I told you, yeah, I spoke too soon. Now they're excited. Uh, before they can declare attackers, we shoot this. Um, I would like to submit zero on that. Don't make a bat. That's fine. Now, if you want to attack, be my guest. Caravac will block the two one. And this will block the bat in the air. Or do I just trade this? I don't, I think the answer is no. I think I trade this for sure. And I think I just take the three. This might give us too much value. Go for the throat. Might be it. Now, how's this work? I want to double check. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. Whenever your opponent discards a land card, create a 1-1. One, one. Okay. I think it's still worth it. Is it? Is it worth it with this removal? Because I don't have upkeep. I can go for the throat and play a Glissa. What do I end up go for the throating? Do I go for the throat the bat? I attack this axe kind of I don't know. I think I attack with it. Cause if I wait forever against this matchup, it's like I'm never winning, you know? Let's surveil. Oh boy. I already have cut down in the yard. I don't really think I need another go for the throat. And I can kind of combo my spells here and take two damage, but remove things at the same time. This can block. I'm staring at a lot. Maybe attacking was a little loose. Brutal. Yeah, I think attacking was loose there. But I say that now, if I draw a removal, I feel like it was fine. Mm. I mean, second Emma Danes, I'm probably losing regardless. Unless my opponent just chooses not to attack me again, which is always possible. 
Yeah, let's see it. All right, these are the attacks. Now, remember, bringing back something like a creature is worth it because I won't take more damage by putting in an extra blocker, right? So I do this and I can cut down the flyer. Which I wouldn't be able to block anyway. So I'm taking two damage to remove a creature. And then I can play Blissa because I named Phyrexian. I think I live at two. Um, because I'll block with Glissa here, block here, and I'll take four or six. But this takes two off, so I'll be at eight. Yes. Relax, Arena. I'm trying the game. So we have a token. The bat's gone. The Imidane's is gone. Oh, I guess I shot the Imidane, so I'll actually take less damage here. I forgot that I was go for the throwing a creature at the start of the turn. My bad, chat. I take two. I'm at four. This is also a game that we lost earlier, by the way. This is also a game in which we win now. Because now Glissa, I attack. I can blow up their enchantment or I can draw a card. I'm going to gain life here. Here, here. I'm going to just hold this back. In their mind, it's 10. It's lethal. I should have just killed them. Their mind, it's not lethal because they have blockers. Look at us go, chat. We're so smart. We gain life up to six. We don't block his Glissa. I just shrink their board, I think. Um, destroy enchantment. Uh, I would like to submit zero on that. Now these are all just one ones. I go up to 10. Now I hold. Kildred does two. They're down to three. I guess if I attack Caravac, they're forced to block is kind of the idea, maybe. But then I'm not kind of guaranteed to get that enchantment out. But yeah, I mean, we lost that game. But we won that game. Very cool, chat. Opponent goes first here. I mean, removal spell, removal spell, win the game. <laughs> That's not how that works. All right, we're going to keep, we're going to Bronco it up. We're going to Glissa. Bosswood kind of sitting in the back line. Ooh, card break. On a red, how tragic. Honestly, now it's probably to play Mosswood, so my creature's a little bit bigger. Never mind, it's to play Go for the Throat. On their flyer, and then Glissa's going to have a lot of work to do. Code breaker. These are kind of the awkward turns for Mono Red. Ass. Love to play a creature, but they can always outgrow my creature. We're looking to counter an ancestral anger here, I think. They go for it. Sure. Yes. Um, I will indeed take out a creature. I understand that they can pump this a lot. Oh, they have nothing? Didn't even imply they had a lightning strike. That's tough. Okay. That's brutal. Mm -hmm. Aglazots, you're cool. Eventually, hopefully. But here's the problem. With this, they can give the Swiss Spear menace. So now my Glissa is not even a blocker here. Here's Slick Shot. I can blow up the enchantment, but that's it with a glissa attack, which I might have to do. This one feels like a loss, Chet. Being on the draw and them kind of having this very aggressive hand. Yep, they see the line. They don't just mess up and put it on their slick shot, even though like still putting it on slick shot's good. There's the anger. Uh, that's ten. You have any other spell? Okay. I like a loss. I mean, they're on the play. They have the nuts. I don't have enough removal. I just drew a lot of like kind of dorks here. I play a lot of removal, so it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. My opponent goes first. I do have removal this time though. So this is kind of the ideal hand. Oh my God, it's the mirror again. Somebody send help. I can't handle it. Hopefully they don't play a Mosswood. They just play a... Uh... Carrier's briefcase. Exactly what I wanted. 
Now I don't have a creature to play with this, so that's kind of tragic. Land pass. Your case is interesting. Makes me think it's not just Golgari. But who knows? I could just cut down this, but realistically. Okay, I think I do. And the reason why is because I think I cut down this to play Liliana and minus on the preacher. We have to remember they still have a mana here with their briefcase. I have it to rest, but that's not as good as playing the Lillian minus thing here, I think. Something suspicious. Um, it's gone. Play another land. It's just a shieldred. If it is, we have go for the throw. The end. I guess, big dog. I don't know who hurt you, but go get them. They're all yours. You can have them. This list of ours only plays two, so we feel pretty confident. We will duress our opponent. Look at tail swipe and shieldred. The briefcase is for path to peril. The tail swipe? Yeah, because, well, fights, right? Target creature you control and target creature you don't control. Yeah, they fight. So if they play shielder and attack my Glissa, I don't care. Uh, Phyrexian. Now, if they play... If they play, we know who, I'll lose. Rexian Obliterator, by the way. Because then they'll have enough to fight along with it. But yeah, again, if they play this and then they have them fight. Oh, so. Ta-da. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if we were supposed to win, but we did. So I'll take it. All right, here we are. We are going to talk about the Golgari a little bit. Um, or in other words, we're going to talk about one of black splash green cards. But I, I do think, like I've said in the past, I think the green cards are very valuable in this deck. And I think they do provide a lot of potential. I think the hardest part to kind of, kind of count for is the mana. Without having the slow mana, the slow lands that come in untapped, it is definitely a harder decision to commit to playing Golgari or blue black or like anything for that matter. Because having untapped lands come in on turn three, like Blooming Marsh is so good on turn one through three, but obviously comes in tapped after that. But the other ones come in untapped after like turn three and forever. So they're like really, really nice to have. But is Golgari worth it? Night. I just tend to think so. I think this card is such a grindy card that you kind of need in this deck that works well. And then I also think Glissa is kind of an all around kind of pub stomper. If she's in play, as we saw against our opponent that was playing kind of the fight deck with Shieldred, I assume a Phyrexian Obliterator was in there. We saw how strong Glissa was. We like put it in play and they're like, wow, I can never attack through that. Even though I have a four or five death toucher. That's a three, three first striking death toucher. I can't do anything about that. So it's very cool and I love that a lot about Glissa. and we are just sticking to the mono black shell. Now this deck, if you want to, was playing Graveyard Trespassers. If you already have them, I put in two Caravex and um, a Cease, I think, just as like a draw. Honestly, this card was just kind of main board hate for like the reanimate decks and stuff like that because we are in best of one. That's kind of the only reason here. If you're not ever running into it, then just cut it and play a third one of these probably, or a third Liliana or a Tranquil Frillback or the Sentinel, the three, four that we can put counters on. There's a lot of cards. That's why it's tough to play Golgari. It's, just, it's so hard to figure out what three drops get into the deck. But with we with us being mainly mono black here, I was just kind of like, I think Caravac probably fits the best because we have so much removal that it just feels good whenever it's online or duresses or even playing like when we brought the glissa back from graveyard against like the boros deck because we were going to take two anyway so why not pay two life to bring a glissa back and then just block that two and then you know now we have a progressive creature in play so other than that i mean this is the list that i was playing i hope it runs well for anybody who might be trying it out. But outside of that, I hope you all enjoyed the video today. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.